What's going on, good people? It's Terrence Hill with Southern Gentleman's Table TV. If you haven't yet, please like and subscribe to our channel. Today, we are getting into doing what I figure is the best fried chicken tender. All right, so let's do this. All right, so what I have here, I have some boneless, skinless chicken breasts. I've already washed them really good. I was, that's always important. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna trim some of this, you know, a lot of times you see a lot of this excess fat. And we wanna trim, trim this stuff off, okay? I'm just gonna trim that. But now for me to make the chicken tenders, I'm gonna show you. What I wanna do is, I wanna take that breast. Sometimes people will cut the breast in half. I like the thinner ones. So I'm gonna take the breast. Move this over here. I'm gonna take the breast and I'm gonna cut it horizontally, okay? What this also does is, it actually makes you, you get a few extra chicken tenders, okay? And then, I'm gonna start cutting these into strips, like that. You see that? It's cutting those into strips. You can cut it in half if you need to, and that's what we're gonna do. So you can see, out of one chicken breast, you can get quite a few chicken tenders. Cut that in half. All right, I'm gonna just throw all those in here. And I'll do the same for these other ones here. Again, you don't have to cut them this way. If you like some of the, the larger chicken tenders, then, you know, it's okay to keep the breast uh, whole. Me personally, though, this is just a personal preference. I like them a little bit thinner because they cook much better. They cook quicker, in my opinion. You can do the same thing if you were making chicken nuggets as well. Or, you know, the uh, the all the all meat chicken nuggets, of course. But you see how thick that is. Again, I'm gonna trim that. All right, so now that we got all the chicken tenders cut up into the right pieces. So now we're gonna get into the actual batter of it. Right. A little bit. Sometimes, like I say, I just get some of the excess off. And I always feel too, because a lot of times the manufacturers may leave an excess bone from that breast. And so you would just wanna make sure that you get, eliminate that as well, okay? Just make sure it's clear. Because these are obviously boneless chicken tenders. Look at that. Just like that. And look at that. Out of four chicken breasts, look at all of those tenders. That's a lot that come from just four chicken breasts. All right, so now we're getting into going ahead and making our batter, our mix. So I have the chicken tenders over here. So what I want to do in in this bowl, I'm going to add, I got a half a cup of hot sauce, okay? I'm going to pour that right over in there. I have two eggs. Let's mix those up really good. I'm going to pour that in here, okay? In here, I have two cups of half and half, and I have a half a cup of club soda, all right? So all that's gonna go over in here. Now, I normally like to let this sit for at least 30 minutes. Now, if you have the opportunity to sit this mixture overnight, it's gonna make it even better, 
okay but at least 30 minutes okay so here is our that is that is our solid mix okay we go I'm going to show you as far as our dry mix so this is our kind of the wet marinade so to speak in this bowl here what I'm using here I have a seasoned flour fried flour it's already seasoned already has all the spices and everything it's really good if you don't have that it's okay in the recipe below I'll also share the actual ingredients for a spice mix if you're just using plain flour okay so in this bowl I have what is a two to one ratio, okay? I have two cups of the seasoned flour and I have one cup of cornstarch. Cornstarch helps make your batter extra crispy, okay? So that's what I have in this bowl. So we're like I said, we're gonna give it about 30 minutes. We're gonna let this mixture sit in the fridge. And when we come back, then we'll go ahead and start batter, all right? All right, so now chicken has been in the mix for about 30 minutes now. So now we are ready to start doing our batter. So now, if you got fry stations, obviously it's my wet batter. You could do, I want to take it from the wet batter, it's going to go into the dry. I always use your two hand method, right? If I'm going to use my right hand to take the tenders out, I don't want to put that same hand in my dry batter. That's so why I use my dry hand, okay? So just, I'm just going to drop those over there like this, do a few of these so you can see this, all right, I'm overcrowded, you got time, all right, now, use my dry hand, come over here, nice, check out the excess, I'm just gonna lay it on this rack till it's time for us to get ready to fry, see that? Love it. I can already tell you right now these are gonna turn out amazing. Oh yeah. Alright. Alright, so once I get through these, when we come back. Got the fryer already started up at 350, and we're gonna get ready to start frying, all right? We'll be right back. All right, folks, so listen, I got all of the chicken already nice and battered. My grease is ready, sitting here at 350 degrees. I normally put about 355, because as soon as you, normally when you put in product, it's gonna go down a few degrees, so. So now I'm going to start putting some of these in the baskets. I'm telling you, these are gonna be amazing. Don't overcrowd your basket, don't load it up. It'll fry much better, trust me. All right, and let's see. Take them, make sure they don't stick together. Can y'all see that? Start to come together a little bit. All right, so now I'm gonna let them go. So now what I normally like to do is, I double fry them, twice fry them. So I'm gonna flash fry them right now. They're gonna get a nice color, but they're not gonna be done, quite done, they're gonna be right there. I'm gonna take them out, get all the other ones done, and then they're gonna finish off. Cause I like mine a little extra crispy. They'll be perfect though, all right? So now we're gonna, gonna let this go. And I'll show you what they look like from the first fry, and then we're, I'm gonna go through and do all the rest, and then we'll come back and, and double fry. But I can tell you right now, look at that, look at that right there. Yeah, it's gonna be amazing, I can tell you right now. All right? All right, so I want you to look and see. So right now, like I said, they're not, they're not quite done yet, but they're getting there. They're starting to get that crisp, crisp on them. But then I'm gonna set them over here, and I'm gonna let them, rest and we're gonna go ahead and go to the next batch and then we'll come back and we'll start double frying all right all right so all of them gone through kind of like that first that first fry that pre-fry so now we're coming over here and we're gonna do our double fry 
we'll make them extra crispy, all right? Back in the grease they go. Oh yeah. Nice. They're gonna come out amazing. And then, so you know what, it's Sunday. Chick-fil-A's clothes, use this recipe. But then, if you have a Sam's by you, go and find these waffle fries. You can have, you can have Chick-fil-A at home on Sunday, all right? I'm gonna let these bad boys get crispy. Normally the best way to uh, to tell when your chicken is done, you'll start seeing them starting to rise to the, to the top. That'll start letting you know when they're done. Like I said, they were pretty close to done when I took them out, but now we're just doing a flash fry. And they're gonna be nice and crispy. Golden brown, look at that color. Look at that, oh my goodness. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mmm. Okay, I think that's good. Oh yeah, look at that. Turn that off. They're crispy. Oh yeah. All right. So if we get through with these and get everything together, then we're gonna taste them, all right? Man, look at this right here. Look at that. I'm telling you right now, these things, they are perfectly crispy. All right? Man, we gotta get into it, man. Listen, these things are Amazing. Let's see. Mmm. I promise you, if you just follow the recipe, you got guys comment and let me know if this is not one of the best chicken tenders you ever had. Alright? Appreciate you for joining. Again, share this video. Like it. Please subscribe to the channel, alright? We'll talk to you guys soon.